I think the hardest part is the girls or the men that come into the industry and then they blame the industry for all their problems. Like when they were in it and they were making all the money and all this, it was great. But then when they leave and then all the stigma that sticks with them, then it's all of a sudden our fault. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know, nobody, let me rephrase this. At the end of the day, nobody held a gun to my head and asked me to do anything. Mm -hmm. But I do understand that there are some people in this industry that aren't as strong-minded or Mm strong-willed as myself that, I know when to say no. Mm-hmm. You know, like I didn't do boy girl till I was ready. Mm-hmm. I didn't do a lot of things till I was ready. But some girls, because they're agents or because the pressure of the industry, feel they have to do things. Mm-hmm. So I understand that. But at the end of the day, you have a choice. Yeah. So to put that blame on somebody else, I, I feel like it's kind of equal, you know? There's a lot more information to these days with the internet. Like yes. if you want to really research the industry and kind of explore your options, right. you can do that. Right. You can go online and you can find a lot of information. It was actually interesting. A new girl in the industry that I've shot a couple of times, Savannah Bond from Australia, she actually did a lot of research before she decided to come in and start shooting. And she said that it was actually um, my podcast, uh-huh. this podcast. And I think also Asa Akira's. Oh, yeah. Um, I think the, her, the, porn pod- ha- the Pornhub yeah. podcast uh, or maybe it was just her writings. But anyways, those were the two things that kind of like encouraged her, inspired her to get in the industry. And so she learned a lot from listening to the stories with all the people that I have on. Um, so there's, you know, and she researched her agent. So right. like if you do your research, like you can gather the information to make the right decisions. But yeah. if you're just going to kind of impulsively okay. jump in and let yourself, you know, get dragged in by some, you know, agent who's going to, take advantage of you. Yeah. And there are plenty of those people that can definitely happen, but you, you do have the information at hand now to make the right decisions where before the internet came along, that right. wasn't, that wasn't true. Yeah. And I mean, I, my agent, when I got in Roy was a scumbag, um, <sighs> but I didn't let him tell me what to do. I'm very strong minded. I'm like, right. you know, at the end of the day, I have to lay my head on the pillow and sleep with myself. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to do anything that's going to compromise my self-worth, mm-hmm. you know, or how I feel. So <clears throat> when things were happening or whatnot, I was like, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I know a lot of people would get scared because they feel pressured into it, but I was girl, girl for so long that a lot of people in the business thought I was a lesbian, that I didn't even like men. And I'm like, no, I just, I wanted to know the industry because at that time, you know, there was no internet where I could research it. So for me, I, you know, I was like, look, I'm 19 years old. I want to know the industry and I want to know what it is because at the end of the day, I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did girl, girl for so long and just the modeling because- it wasn't so taboo as, you know, a penis going inside of you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I, I got to know it. I got to know the people. I got to know the companies. And, you know, the industry is big, but it's quite small. Mm-hmm. And so I got to know my surroundings and everything before I made the leap into doing boy, girl and moving further. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, and what a lot of people don't realize, especially now in this day with social media and the internet, that if you're coming in here for a quick paycheck and you think nobody's going to find out, you're an idiot. Yeah. Like, let's keep it real. Like no sugar on top of that. You're an idiot. Like if somebody wants to find it, they're going to find it and yeah. it's never going away. And that's what I tell girls that I meet when I'm in the strip clubs, feature dancing or whatnot. They're like, I want to be in the business. And I say, look, it's not easy. It's not all, you know, puppy dogs and ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work and it's not as easy as it might look. Yeah. Or glamorous by any means. <laughs> so, you know, and I was like, if you think nobody's going to find out, everybody's going to find out. Mm -hmm. Somebody who has a vendetta or who's jealous or anything will go out of their way to find whatever it is that you might've done. Mm -hmm. So just know once you do something, it is on the internet forever. Yeah. (laughs) So it's like, if you do one scene, you may as well do a thousand. Exactly. Because that one will be found. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.